Good morning, D.Y. Here we are back again. Let us uh, begin in prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to share with you a little uh, reading. So I'm reading a book here on Christmas holidays, and uh, well, I've read a couple. It's been fantastic. Lots of time to read. But here's a line. What do you think about this? So the book is Conscious Evolution, Barbara Marks Hubbard. We live in a unique time, perhaps as significant as when first humans arose in self-consciousness in an animal world. When humans first got self-consciousness. That's a pretty big time, right? What about this time right now? She says, millions of us are rising in a more universal, holistic, or cosmic consciousness in a still largely self-centered world. Now, I like that. Uh, it points to something that's happening, something that's good, and yet the world is still largely uh, very self-centered. Uh, there's another section in here that I really like. I just had to share this with you. It's, uh, it's kind of good news. It says this. In Blessed Unrest, How the Largest Movement in the World Came Into Being and Why No One Saw It Coming, Paul Hawken, the leading environmentalist and social change activist, examined the worldwide movement for social and environmental change. He discovered that groups working in these causes comprise the largest movement on earth. A movement that has no name, leaders, or location, that has gone largely ignored by politicians and the media, like nature itself, it is organizing from the bottom up, fundamentally. And it is an expression of humanity's collective genius. So that's a little bit hopeful. The uh, largest movement ever. Um, and it's about the environment and justice. I believe it's true. And yet when I look around me, um, I see that not enough is being done. When I look in our school community and I see the stupidity of fights and I see people going around with plastic water bottles um, I think a lot of people need to wake up. And then at the same time, you know, we gather for retreats and uh, I keep people to think about all the beauty and goodness in their lives. And then people are thinking about all the evil and stupidity in our world. And then I say, what do you want to see? And there's time, there's space. Of course, that's what a retreat is for, to do some art, to reflect on that and your place in that. And you know, by the way, that's what the title of this book is about, Conscious Evolution. If this is going to happen, we have to choose it to be a part of it. And you know, students, 95%, I would say, they're given that space, they're given that choice, and they choose life. And they say, I wanna be part of something good. So, I mean, again, why do we reflect? Why do we pray? The fundamental, the big questions. Do you wanna be about life? Do you wanna be about peace? Do you wanna be about love? Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we recognize that you're Spirit of love is within us, and we ask you to make us instruments of your peace. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Margaret Deville, pray for us. Have a great day, everybody.